port and We're beaming down the starboard section first. Which section would you like to go with? Not necessary in my case, Captain. On my planet, to rest is to rest, to cease using energy. To me, it is quite illogical to run up and down on green grass using energy instead of saving it. Kirk here. Dr. McCoy calling from the planet, Captain. Yes, open a channel, Uhura. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, are you beaming down? I hadn't planned to, Bones. Why? Well, either our scouting probes and detectors are malfunctioning, and all us scouts careless and beauty intoxicated, or I must report myself unfit for duty. Explain. On this supposedly uninhabited planet, I just saw a large rabbit a gold watch from his vest and claimed that he was late. That's pretty good, Bones. All right, I got one for you. The rabbit was followed by a little blonde girl, right? As a matter of fact, yes. And they disappeared through a hole in a hedge. All right, Doctor. I'll take your report under consideration. Captain, uh, that's a McCoy pill. A little mystery sugar coating. He wants to get me down there, afraid I won't swallow it. Very well, Captain. Something I did come to discuss. Yes, uh, Mr. Spock, please. I picked this up from Dr. McCoy's log. We have a crew member aboard who's showing signs of stress and fatigue. Reaction time down 9 to 12%. Associational rating norm minus 3. It's much too low a rating. He's becoming irritable and quarrelsome, yet he refuses to take rest and rehabilitation. Now, he has that right, but... We found the crewman's right ends when the safety of the ship begins. Now that man will go ashore on my orders. What's his name? James Kirk. Enjoy yourself, Captain. It's an interesting planet. I believe you'll find it quite pleasant. Very much like your Earth. Scouts have detected no animals, artifacts, or force fields of any kind. Only peace, sunshine, and good air. You'll have no problems.